common question for WordPress beginners is, what's the difference between posts and pages? Both are types of web content you can create with WordPress. However, they serve different purposes. WordPress was originally created as a blogging platform, and posts traditionally refer to blog posts. However, you can use them to create any type of timely content you want to publish on a recurring basis. Posts are organized through the use of categories and tags. You can add a featured image to display at the top of the post and as a thumbnail in your post archives, which are listed in reverse chronological order. By default, users who visit your site will be able to leave comments on your posts. You can also share posts with readers via your RSS feed. Pages, on the other hand, are for static content. Common examples include about pages and contact pages. You can add featured images to your pages too, but comments are not turned on by default and they're organized much differently than posts. There is no page archive, and instead of categories and tags, you can organize your pages in a hierarchical structure. For example, here's a parent page and its child page. Note that your site's URL structure also reflects this system, which can be beneficial for SEO. When used in conjunction, posts and pages enable you to create a well-rounded website with a mix of timely and relevant articles and key information your site visitors need easy access to.